Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at Lesson 8.2, the perimeters of composite figures. Today we're going to be trying um, five things, so just make sure that you're looking out for those five things written in your notes, and let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to make sure we understand is what a composite figure is. So basically a composite figure is any time um, one shape is made up of two or more shapes. Um, so let's go ahead and take time now just to jot that down. Maybe you draw, you can draw one of those composite figures. The easiest one is a house. You probably do that when you're little. Um, but it's basically when you put two or more shapes together. So go ahead and pause now, write it. Once you're done, click play so we can move on to number two. So what we're going to be doing here in number two is trying to figure out the perimeter of the semicircle and the triangle put together. We have one side of the triangle is eight feet one side of the triangle is six feet, and then this diameter of the semicircle is 10 feet. Some ideas that you might want to consider, breaking up the shapes would be helpful for you to find the perimeter. So I would usually just write the shapes um, without them being connected. And then I find the sides that are not on the outside. So obviously we're not gonna be finding the inside of the semicircle. We just need to figure out the perimeter of each, okay? So what you're going to do is go ahead and pause the video now. Go ahead and try the perimeter of the triangle plus the semicircle, only considering the outer edges. And once you're done, click play so you can check your work. All right, so an easy one first. I did 8 plus 6, um, and that gave me my first unit, my first um, sum of 14. The other one that took a little bit of time was my semicircle. Since it gave me a diameter, I'm going to be using circumference is equal to pi times diameter because remember circumference means perimeter of a circle. Um, but since that's a semicircle, after I do pi times diameter, I needed to divide by 2. So 3.14 times 10 divided by 2 is going to give me 15.7. After I add those together, my final answer for number two will be 29.7 feet. How did you do? If you got a little bit more, if you probably got something with 15 extra points, you forgot to divide the semicircle by two. So just make sure you're paying attention to those little errors. The third one, you're going to go ahead and try it on your own again. So let's go ahead and pause the video. Notice this time you have two semicircles. And thinking about that, two semicircles make one whole circle. So there might be something else that you don't have to do there. Go ahead and pause and try. Once you're done, click play. All right, the first one I'm always just going to do is the two easiest ones, which are these two straightaways on the running track. So that's 100 on one side plus 100 on the other side. Okay, those are going to give me 200. Over here, though, I have two semicircles basically giving me one full circle and 32 meters is being represented by radius. So what I'm going to use for that one is 2 times pi times radius according to my formula sheet. Um, I'm not going to have to divide by 2 here because those two semicircles are going to make one full circle. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in my calculator 2 times 3.14 times 32 and I'm going to get 200.96 and then I'm going to add these two together from my straightaways and the circles and it's going to give me my total answer of 400.96 meters. Some of you who run track you know that one lap around um, the track is 400 meters usually um, but this one's just a little bit larger and that, that just kind of depends on where you're running or where you're starting at on the track too. Here's your number four. Again, let's go ahead and pause. This one's kind of similar to number two. Go ahead and pause it, and once you're done, click play to check your work. All right, again, I start off with my easiest one. I worked on the 10 plus 24, and that's going to give me my 34. Then I went and talked about my semicircle. This 26 centimeters is my diameter, so I'm using the circumference formula that has diameter in it, pi times diameter, but since it's a semicircle, I am going to divide by 2. I'm going to do 3.14 times 26 and divide it by 2, and that's going to get me 40.82, 
And then I'm going to add both of those together, 40.82 and 34, to give me my final answer of 74.82 centimeters. Again, you do not have to go back and add this line. You do not have to go back and add the diameter because the diameter is located on the interior of this composite figure. Here's our last one that we're going to try. This one be careful because you do have some missing sides that you need to take into consideration. So maybe find the missing sides first and then add them together to find your perimeter. Let's go ahead and pause it. Once you're done, click play to check your work. All right, so I know that this side's going to be 12.5. I've got a 14, a 4, and a 5.5. What I need to figure out though are these two missing sides. What I like to do is just look straight across from it. And I know that this whole entire thing is 12.5, but so this wall shouldn't be 12.5. Um, but maybe I look at, oh, okay, I have a little bit of extra here. So what I did to find this wall over here is I did 12.5 minus 4, because that's just taking, it's dropping down 4 feet. That's going to give me 8.5 feet here. And then this entire wall or line down here is going to be equal to whatever's across from this. I do have 14 already taken care of, but then I also have an additional 5.5 feet to the right, so I'm going to actually add 14 and 5.5 together to give me 19.5 feet. And then when I add all of these together, 19.5 plus 8.5 plus 5.5 and 4 and 14 and 12.5, you're going to get a grand total of 64 feet. How did you do? That is going to conclude our video today on 8.2 perimeters of composite figures. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.